Grade 12 Unit 3 Focus on Reading Page 30 The Foreign Diplomatic Institute Kuwait has always been a country keen to promote its diplomatic ties and relationships with other far-flung places. The Kuwait Foreign Diplomatic Institute is just the latest in a long line of moves made by the Kuwaiti government to extend a hand of friendship to other countries. Officially opened by His Highness Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah in December of 2008, the Foreign Diplomatic Institute will prepare and train future Kuwait diplomats for deployment throughout the globe. The center is to be run by Ambassador Abdulaziz Al-Sharik. Ambassador Al-Sharik is a successful diplomat who has worked in Australia, Brussels, Germany, and Japan. With his guidance and experience Kuwait can be sure of having a generation of well-trained, competent, and enthusiastic diplomats representing them throughout the globe. The Foreign Diplomatic Institute has three main aims. Firstly, the institute is a training institute. Its objective is such that the staff of the institute will be responsible for training all of Kuwait's diplomatic staff, both old and new. Newer recruits will obtain the entirely of their training from the institute, receiving 12 months of training whilst in Kuwait, and a further 6 months whilst on foreign soil. Old staff, on the other hand, will use the institute to update and reinforce their knowledge and skills, through refresher courses and access to a myriad of professional training programs. Secondly, the institute will function as a government think tank, conducting research on foreign policy that may ultimately influence many important decisions taken by the government. Whilst the research undertaken will mainly be used by officials and dignitaries there is also the hope that some of the work undertaken may be published. The third and final aim of the Institute is the organization of international seminars, conferences, workshops, and meetings with relevance to Kuwaiti foreign policy. Speakers from other countries will also be invited to give talks. For example, the American ambassador gave a talk in which she discussed the impact of America's presidential election upon its relations with Gulf countries. Ambassador al Sharik says one of the most important lessons the diplomats in training will learn is media relations. As he himself says, diplomats can never escape media. If they don't know how to deal with the media, they will have lots of problems. So, what kind of person does it take to become a successful diplomat? Currently, the institute has 46 trainees, all of whom are university graduates. Most of them studied in the Faculty of Law or the Faculty of Political Science at Kuwait University, but there are other disciplines represented, for example English language. However, the main criteria for success as a diplomat are confidence, friendliness and, most importantly, willingness to work very, very hard.